Hello my treasures, in stereotypical Blizzard fashion, we have gotten a teaser for the 24.6 patch notes, showcasing some of the major features for this coming up patch, and also getting an announcement that got leaked out a little bit early of the new expansion being revealed next Monday, which may or may not include a brand new class for the game, depending if you believe the leaks that have been floating around for the last six or so months, which may or may not be Death Knights coming into the game. They did announce with this announcement that it will be a chilly update, so who knows, maybe it will be Death Knights. There's a lot of factors pointing towards that, but let's look at the news that we actually are going to be guaranteed. The first one, we're going to get a pack if you watch the announcement on Monday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. The other thing that is coming with this patch is Hall's End is coming, even though it will be coming after her Halloween actually happens. For this, the announcement that they had was that Battlegrounds was going to have a Battle Bash, which is going to be basically a secondary battle pass for the game mode, which I guess the first battle pass didn't work, so why not add another one on top of it? This seems like a little bit more of a fair battle pass because it doesn't have additional hero choices at the start of the game on it however it is going to be at a much more limited time and it does have a lot of value in it because it is giving you a legendary board and a legendary strike which i think already they're selling for a very similar value to what they are doing here for the entire battle bash and honestly the conditions for this battle pass to get everything unlocked is only seven top or wins it really depends on how long this is actually going to last and it does look like everyone is going to get at least one thing for free so some people will actually get a legendary board for free or a legendary strike which is cool now moving on to the next thing and the biggest thing especially for me as someone who actually still does a lot of mercenary content on the video the mercenary task system is going to be completely reworked and the renown system is going to be introduced to get rid of the excess coins. The excess coin problem has been an issue since the beginning of the game mode and seeing that we are actually finally seeing a solution, it's going to be a much welcome change. The change that they're making is the campfire will also have the option instead of just having tasks on it to actually have trade offers so you can get coins for mercenaries that you haven't completely maxed out in exchange for coins that you already have for mercenaries that are completely maxed out. This is actually a pretty good change. However, I'm really curious of how it's going to work in the end if it's only going to be two trade offers per day like it is shown in this screenshot or if it's going to be available in every single slot of the campfire if you have all the tasks actually completed. Because if it is in every single slot, then this is a really nice change to actually see. However, if it is only two, you're going to it doesn't really solve the excess coin problem really, really quickly, which is something that a lot of people were hoping for. I guess this is the way they wanted to do it, just because of the fact if they didn't do it like this, then people who have had a shit ton of extra coins for the entire year were going to just be able to max out whatever new mercenaries they add into the game almost instantly. The other change that they're making to this campfire is that all task chains are going to be available at all times, thus allowing you to complete every single task that you actually need. Also lets you focus on whatever mercenaries you want to use first when a new batch actually comes out instead of having to randomly get their task chain. The other change we are seeing is the fact that there are going to be general tasks which don't seem to be replacing the task change for each individual mercenary which means it's a really good change overall at least in my opinion it gives something for veteran players to actually keep doing for mercenaries that they do need additional coins for while also providing a reason to do pve mercenaries instead of just farming the same level over and over giving some variety to the game mode which is much needed one of the major problems with mercenaries right now is the fact that you do have a set bounty here and there that you're going to just want to grind out for a day or two to actually max out whatever mercenaries you're trying to max out which can get very very boring very quickly especially because our stone historically speaking has been a pvp game and in order to succeed in mercenaries pvp you really need to do a bunch of pve 
and we're seeing a bunch of changes that should make that, that a little bit easier for people to actually keep up with. It also is something that a lot of people did suggest was to have general tasks, which is really cool too. So they are actually listening to feedback. Okay, now time for the final change that was announced today, which is loaner decks for new and returning players. Right now in Hearthstone, if you are a returning player that hasn't played in six months, you have the choice of choosing a deck from one of any of the playable classes for standard Hearthstone using some of the most meta relevant cards within them to give you a nice foothold into the game instead of just dumping you straight away into standard, keep up with people have been continuously playing. However, it does look like that they're going to change how the system works for the better. They are going to allow you to actually test out the free decks and then at the end of the week you get to choose which one you actually want to keep. Honestly, a perfect change. It does show that they're trying to make the new and returning player experience a lot better than it currently is. The core set was a nice step in the right direction there too, but this is honestly a way better way to do it in the long run since we were already giving new and returning players free decks. I know I recently had a friend who came back to the game uh, and he chose a deck. However, he ended up not using any of the cards in the deck because he didn't like how the deck ended up playing. But now situations like that won't actually exist for most new and returning players as long as they have time within that week time frame. I would have maybe wanted to make this a little bit longer, maybe like a month or something just so you can actually play around with each individual deck during a entire season just so you can get a feel of what you want to actually play but a week is still better than no test period for whatever deck and while this isn't probably all the content that's actually coming in 24.6 as a patch it is a nice little overhead to see what they're actually planning for the future and implementing some changes that will make new player experience much better and some veteran player experience even better too. However, we are getting introduced to a secondary type of battle pass system for Battlegrounds, which is a little bit annoying, especially if you're a big fan of that game mode. As it currently stands, I haven't really played that game mode that much very recently. I've been grinding out mercenaries or playing just a bunch of standard. One bright side of this type of battle pass is they could use the feedback on this and the number of purchases to see if it actually is required to keep the pay to win aspects on the normal battle pass when it comes to battlegrounds hopefully that they find out that it isn't completely necessary but you never know so let me know down below what news you're actually most looking forward to and what news you are most angry about. I'm assuming that the battle pass system for battlegrounds is probably going to be what everyone's going to be disappointed in, but everything else seems like a really good change for the future. And like always, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, bye bye.